Hi, welcome to this Arconlex B Xmonad machine again. There is a great opportunity uh, to learn you something about uh, Haskell and about Xmonad at this point in time. It breaks your system, but there's always a solution if you know uh, how, and that's what this video is about, sharing the knowledge. So, let's go to VirtualBox here. Everything is here is installed with a right control and then an F, I go full screen and I have only my virtual box. So this, what we're looking at is virtual box. Control T here, there is no NeoFetch I think because it's still rather barren um, virtual box. You see sometimes flash things up here. So lots of things have not been installed but it's just to show you that updates can go wrong and what should you do and what can you do to prevent it. That's what this is all about. So sudo pacman minus s just to show you guys what we are on. I'm quickly installing NeoFetch. Okay, so it's Arch Linux and we're on VirtualBox as you can see down here. And um, let's update the system. Updating at this point in time will uh, crash uh, everything, but uh, the command update is something we made. It's an alias, but if you're on Arch Linux, then this is your alias. That's it. So like I said, it's not a full uh, installation like I did in uh, the videos one, two, three. So I need to type what everybody needs to type on Arch Linux and that's this command. So updating the system and here it is, a lot of Haskell stuff comes in. And from, from now on, because Xmonad is also a new desktop environment for me, from now on when something called Haskell comes in, I'll immediately press Super Shift R. What does that do? This Super Shift R or shortcut is actually a line xmonad dash dash recompile. Because basically we are working with an application, we are running in an, a program. But if these things come in and the references and the links and the libraries and things change, then the program wants to run something and it's the, the new versions are there. So it can't run. And that's what happened yesterday. That's what we want to share uh, our information uh, in this video. So then another thing happened as well. Linux um, 4.20 is out and we were waiting for that because VirtualBox is also out, which has version six. And we needed number 20 to have VirtualBox six and stuff like that. So dependencies, that's what it technically called. But there we, here we are, we have um, the 4.20 is there you see it more or less here that's where it says 4.20 but it's a lot of Haskell stuff and this broke our system yesterday okay that's done so basically what we did what we normally would do is a sudo reboot so if you do a sudo reboot then you can't log in so I'm gonna make the mistake okay to see how to help it because I if I now, now press super shift R I'm going to rebuild it. So if you type xmonad help, you can recompile it, replace, restart. So the recompile is a thing we have put behind super shift R. That's what I need to do. Do not have a breaking xmonad, but I'm hopefully, hopefully it's gonna break so you can learn something. So this is still virtual box, it's rebooting. And then we get to our light DM which is our display manager. I've made a tutorial online just about auto logging and all that. Oh yeah, so let us let me push this along here and choose something else here. I'm gonna, we're not gonna waste any time, so close, chuck, boot up again. That's something I need to take a look at, but not now. Control F, full screen, back again. So when we are on light DM and I type my name, I hope, hopefully, eh, it will not work. Oof, thank God. So that's when you say, what the hell? Eh? Uh, why I'm not, am I not logged in into the system? Why is not everything working? I can keep trying to log in and then you say 
make maybe the conclusion LightYM is broken. No, LightYM is giving an, a kind of handshake to the next one and the next one is going to be a desktop environment behind there and that one is not responding or not working and LightYM says okay no response fine I'll get back to my uh, login screen. So basically we have a broken system that's what happened yesterday. How do you solve that? When you're on SSD, you need to go to TTY, and you're in VirtualBox, you also need to go to TTY, but it's a different shortcut. Control Alt One, uh, sorry, Control Alt F1, F2, F3, F4, etc. F7, I think, out of my head, it's the it's the graphical one. You just keep trying, and then you get this black screen, and it says TT, TTY One or TTY Two, etc. But I am not on. SSD, hard disk, NVMA, I am on VirtualBox. And then you have to remember the shortcut control on your keyboard, but the right control, yes. And then you can choose again, or F2, or F3, or F4. And you see the only changing thing there is TTY and then the number behind it. Six and seven, we're back. So indeed it was number seven, that's the graphical display. So you need to go in there and go in here and then like I said let's do it again so we see it again recompile that's the thing you need to remember xmonad recompile because with all the new packages that came in we need to make the new a new application we make have to make a new executable okay then we can go back to uh, Control F7. We're back at the login screen, and then we have we can try it again. So there you go. We are back in sites. Everything is working. Control T, new fetch, and we have our new kernel 4.20, and uh, we're good to go. All right. Let's stop the video here. Control F, full screen. Then, ooh. Super Shift R, Polybar doesn't like when we make it a big here. Full screen. Hopefully I can still stop the video here. Yes, there he is. And we're out. Cheers.